A Harrisonburg school is doing its part to help Virginia First Lady Pamela Northam and other state officials to meet the state's farm to school goal of increasing annual local food purchases to at least $22 million by 2022. I think it's been a huge success for us. That's Jill Hart. She's the Waterman Elementary School principal. Her school has created a community garden. Virginia Farm to School Network is hosting meetings across the state to develop regional plans for achieving the $22 million goal. One of those meetings was held Wednesday at Waterman Elementary School. People who are uh, working towards um, farm to table, farm to school, um, gardening in uh, elementary schools or in the school divisions. Um, uh, we have a, a plethora of individuals from Rockingham Co-op, from different school divisions, Highland County, Grant County, all different school divisions that have come to look at our garden and how we have developed that. State officials say school gardens are a bridge between the classroom and the cafeteria. I think what they want to try to do is how to um, grow that in other areas. Um, you really, really have to have somebody who is dedicated and passionate about it because it's a lot of work. Hart says numerous volunteers have worked in the garden. We've also had partnerships with JMU. We've also had parent volunteers. Um, we've had um, organizations who've come in, everything from helping us build our boxes for to be able to plant in, to painting the fence, to getting our, because we have a, um, a rain barrel out there on how to filter the water out and reuse that. So I mean, um, this has been huge. It's been a real learning experience for, for everybody involved. And it takes a village. <laughs> it really does. The garden is essential in helping her students understand how food is grown. But with youngsters, the process can be slow. I think they're getting there. Um, I don't think that all of them have that concept. We have to, um, we live in a community in a city. And a lot of this is their first experience with where our food comes from. So I think the awareness has definitely been building over the last several years. Um, of course, we get new little kindergartners every year, so we have to continue that educational piece. But um, we definitely have a much better understanding of not just where our food comes from, but the amount of effort and the people involved that make it so important um, for that food to table. The school's garden is filled with a variety of vegetables and plants. Right now, <laughs> we have everything growing in that garden. We do have some flowers, uh, pollinators, that we have growing in the garden. Um, of course, we want to uh, help support the bee population and the birds. The students chose a unique way of determining what will be grown in the community garden. We've let the kids vote on what they wanted to plant in the garden, so they did a survey. And corn was a big one, but corn is a little challenging. But um, we have tomatoes growing in the garden. We have sunflower seeds. We have um, lettuce, kale. So we have quite a few different varieties of things. The principal says she's proud of her students. They're leaders of the future, and we have to help them develop those skills. And they, um, they're warriors. They take on anything that we give them, and they run with it, and they want to do more. According to her, there are a few people who have gone above and beyond in helping the garden to flourish. Uh, we have a compost system set up. Um, I give a lot of this credit to Kathy Yoder, who is, um, who's in charge of the garden. She took that on. That's a passion for her. Uh, so it's kind of blossomed into a lot of different aspects. She shared with me how the compost system was created out of necessity. And the compost is one that came about because she was seeing how much food was actually getting thrown away and getting wasted. And she was like, I think we can compost this and make a beautiful compost to help our soil and, and to better that. According to her, Kathy Yoder worked diligently to ensure the garden would be beneficial. She has a lot of figures and stuff. We have a board down here that talks about the amount of compost, as you can see behind me, um, uh, and how they're, uh, the kids are involved in the process. They take their little buckets around. They know what they can compost and they know what they can't compost. So it has been a real learning experience for all of us. In Harrisonburg, Elaine Rackley for Breaking Through News.